John Lusk here of Lusk Archery Adventures, Serious Testing, Successful Hunting. Today I'm going to be testing a new head by Tooth of the Arrow. I've tested a lot of their other models. They, they have a four blade basic model, but a lot of different sizes, diameters, and, and, and weights, and so forth. And I've tested just about all of them, and I've used them really successfully in the field on a number of different species. I love these these uh, these broadheads that they've been putting out, but now they've come out with a two blade head, and I've gotten so many requests to test this broadhead. I've been really eager to do it. Finally, got my hands on some, and so I'm going to be putting this head to the test. It's a two blade single bevel, and for this uh, test, I'm going to be using my protocol for 2023. For a detailed description of that, you can check out the video that I put out earlier this year, which is called 2023 Broadhead Test Process, and that explains all the behind the scenes things. I often get a lot of questions about it, about, about the process. Why do you do this? Well, what does this mean? If you watch the video, it really helps. That's why I keep plugging it every time. So please check it out. You can also read about it in the description right below the video. And that's where I always put the price per broadhead of every broadhead I test. And I, I show the scores of how it performed in each of the tests that I do, as well as the total cumulative score. And that's where I also put all the uh, the discount codes that I have that I have I have a number of discount codes that you can use whenever you order a bunch of different broadheads and it's a growing list so please check it out and see if it might help there, there's one for the tooth of the arrow okay on there so you can check out the discount code for tooth of the arrow as well but I'm going to be using my Bowtech CP28 set at 72 pounds 27 inch draw I'm using Bishop FOC King arrows for most of the shooting but then I'm using let's see where is it here the Bishop fad eliminators firearms dispatch eliminators for the really hard impact stuff because they can usually handle it all right let's zoom on in here and check out this new head by tooth of the arrow Here's a good look at the broadhead. And man, this is a, a beast of a little broadhead right here. Let's go through some of the uh, the materials. First of all, it's, uh, it's machined out of a single chunk of 11L41 steel. That's what they use for all their, their broadheads. And it's brought to a Rockwell, Rockwell hardness of 45. That's what they find to be a good balance of durability and ease of resharpening. The cutting diameter is just one inch. So really narrow cut to it. Um, the blades are 0 0.060 inches thick, pretty nice thick blades, and you see it's got this really stout, thick ferrule, which again, it's all just one piece, but that ferrule has a nice wedge shape. It's got one angle in the front, then it shifts to a more gradual angle, and then it's just straight. That's going to help it to pry bone apart, and everything about this broadhead is just designed for penetration and breaching heavy bone. Um, the, uh, the bevel here on the single bevel, it is single bevel sharpened, which will give it a bit of rotation. And the bevel is 45 degrees. That's going to give it a really good edge integrity. A lot of single bevel heads have more gentle bevel angles and the blades get pretty narrow. And when they uh, hit a bone, you know, with all that pressure, they can get quite a bit of edge chatter. I don't imagine that that's going to happen with this, with that 45 degree bevel. And then you notice the tip has this extra wide tanto tip. You see that there? It, that's just to give it, again, extra durability. It's a single bevel this way, single bevel that way. So it, it'll take a little bit just to, to sharpen that separately from this. But you know, with a 45-degree with a bevel like this, on the one hand, you can think, well, that's not hard to just do it by hand, and you probably can. But Stay Sharp Guide makes a sharpener, their C sharpener, that they've adapted to be able to use with a 45-degree bevel, single bevel head as well. And they have a video. I'm going to put the link in uh, the, the description of this video. But they have a video on their website and their YouTube page. If you look up Innovative Outdoorsman, that's their YouTube page, Innovative Outdoorsman. And they'll show this exact head being sharpened. And they got it. I don't know if you know the scoring process, you know, the score. Uh, terminology, but they got it to like 87 or something grams of force to cut through this copolymer wire. That is off the hook in terms of sharpness. So there's no doubt this thing can get really sharp. So I'm eager to put it to the test and see how it performs.
It took 275 grams of force to cut through the wire, which is a 9.25 on a 10 point scale. It penetrated nine and a half inches. It took an additional 25 grams of force to cut through the wire, which is a 9.5 on a 10 point scale. It penetrated through 65 layers. It rotated 37 degrees at 11 inches. It's in pristine condition after the three shots through the MDF. And it's still in excellent condition after two shots through the sheet metal. So here it is after all the durability tests. It's gone through the MDF three times, the steel plate two times, and then into the concrete. And man, it's held together extremely well. The blades and the edges are, it just seems like perfectly intact. The tip is perfectly intact. Uh, the ferrule is, spins very well. Really impressive durability here. So what'd you think? And this little broadhead has a lot going for it, doesn't it? Uh, man, it flew incredibly well. It penetrated incredibly well. Durability was just fantastic. It's, it's you know, geometric design, structural integrity, just lend it to be a very durable head. It scored perfectly in the durability. The only ways it got a bit knocked in score is uh, the out-of-the-box sharpness. Uh, was not as good as it could be, but it was still, you know, it's it about average, maybe a, a little bit better than, than some others, uh, fixed blade heads. But again, like I, I mentioned earlier in the video, then you use that Stay Sharp Guide C Sharpener, you can get that thing really, really sharp. That's pretty impressive. The, the biggest drawback in terms of the score is the cut size, because you've only got two blades and it's only one inch. And that's going to make a pretty small hole, even though it's pretty thick and it's got some rotation, that's going to make a pretty small hole. But I'll tell you this, if your goal, if your primary goal is penetration, like breaching bone on a really big animal, then man, this head could do really well for that. Or if you have a lighter setup and you're just wanting to maximize your penetration, then this head could really do well with that. So you just got to see if it's right for your needs and the animal that you're hunting. But I think they've done a really good job with this head and it's kind of cool that they came out with this two blade. So check out the score sheet and see how it performed in the areas that matter to you the most. See if it's a good fit for you and stay tuned for the overall score as well as the corresponding Lusk grade. <laughs>